little video tonight on this denim jacket from Momotaro. Um, I was going through my denim cupboard uh, earlier on today, um, just checking out uh, what I had in there and thinking about what I could move on. And suddenly I remembered that I picked up this jacket probably about a year ago. I've never got round to reviewing it. Um, I haven't actually worn it, to be honest, um, and we'll get onto that in a minute. But I thought, well, before I move it on or think about what to do, it, do with it next, I thought I'd better share it here and just show you um, a little bit about this jacket, uh, share it with my viewers. So this is the Momotaro uh, 21 or 2105 SP. Um, it is a Type 2 jacket, uh, so it's just got the two pockets at the front here. Um, I wanted a Type 2 because Type 3, the traditional sort of Levi style, very high street, and I wanted something which was just that little bit different. Um, also, on this particular uh, model uh, from Momotaro, it is a slimmer cut than you'd find on most Type 2 jackets, and also a slightly uh, longer body, which is quite important uh, when you're buying uh, Japanese brands that the Western uh, purchaser will often want a slightly longer body. So this felt like it was going to give me all the things I wanted from a great uh, a brand which I was really interested in trying out. So Momotaro, they've been around since 2006 I understand. Um, they take their name from uh, a very uh, traditional uh, Japanese sort of folklore story. Um, it translates, I think, as Peach Boy. Um, there's two different versions of the story, um, one being a boy born of a peach, and one slightly more um, interesting uh, story which Momotaro hang their reputation on, or hang their sort of brand values on, and it's about rejuvenation. Um, an elderly couple find a magic peach, and they have the child they always wanted. So it's a story of rejuvenation, chasing your dreams, and really anything's possible. So I think that's what they what they sort of built their company on, that idea of uh, making dreams come true. So as I say, um, bought this a year ago. Um, I thought I'd nailed my uh, sizing. Um, I bought this uh, Ironheart shirt. I think it's the IH33T, really nice denim western shirt. I thought I'd sort of nailed my uh, cut, what I wanted, and I thought this was going to do the job for me. Um, it's a 42, um, it's just too big. Um, no matter how I cut it, I, I layered it with a hoodie, it still felt just that little bit bigger than I want. So I thought, am I going to boil it and try and shrink it down? Um, but to be honest, I wanted a, a jacket I could break in, one that sort of I uh, stretched out to fit me rather than I try to shrink to fit me. I've never found that. Uh, shrinking denim really works so always go a little bit tight stretch it out that's what I found to work so this hasn't worked for me um, but it's a fantastic uh, piece of engineering uh, so this is a 15.7 uh, ounce um, Zimbabwe cotton selvage denim um, this has been one wash so it's taken all the shrink out so really what I was planning wasn't going to achieve much um, apparently they rinse this with ocean water on the shore or from the shore of Okiyama. Not sure how that works. It doesn't seem salty. Um, I'm sure it's just where the water is sourced from. Um, but yeah, so I think probably the best thing to do is get in some details and see how this jacket's put together. Coming in for a few close-ups to show you how this jacket goes together. Obviously you've got five uh, button construction. Um, on the inside you've got a nice, uh, I think it's deer hide, or deer, deer skin patch there with the sizing, peach boy, uh, model number, brand, all the things you normally expect there. Um, all throughout this you've got a nice combination of the sort of gold and sort of lemon yellow stitch which I think is always quite nice to, to see a bit of variation in the, in the colour. Um, moving down the front, obviously you've got the two Pockets as you'd, as you'd expect, slightly lower than you find on a on a Type 3. Really nice sort of detailing on the pockets. So you've got a nice little uh, peach symbol tab on the edge there. And on the insides of the pockets you've got a nice bit of uh, chambray lining. Just nice detail. No salvage on the inside there. I really like these uh, little triangular returns on the stitch at each corner. I've seen it on other denim, it's probably nothing too exciting, but 
just something nice about the detailing. On the front you've obviously got the, the pleats, so you've got two pleats and they're just pinned down with these uh, box stitches which I think is quite pleasant to look at. And on the inside if we pop this open and we'll work from the bottom we have a little bit of uh, selvage to show. Let's say this is a 15.7 uh, ounce um, selvage denim. Um, Zimbabwean cotton and that's a nice sort of peach uh, details of peach white and peach again nice pinky colours and again that's all about their brand and the peach boy. Moving down to the bottom nothing much to see apart from the, uh, the cinches at the side there so you can tighten up a little. Also on the front or a very prominent feature at least, are these Momotaro battle stripes. So if you ever see these, um, it's always going to be Momotaro or a sort of a, a poor replica. Um, so this is very much the brand. And I thought, you know, again, why I picked this particular jacket, it just had this extra little bit of detailing and it really helped sort of make it different from everything else I see on the high street. Um, one of the interesting things I see about these is that I always thought that this uh, slightly rubberized paint uh, was applied after manufacture, but if you look how it's put together, it's actually on the denim before construction, so quite a lot of care must get into or go into getting that all lined up nicely. So quite interesting how they construct that. Obviously you can see the stitching running through it. Over time, um, I'd really like to see that uh, wear off as the jacket breaks in or your jeans break in so that goes across your back pocket I think it just adds something to the sort of evolution of the jacket quite nice to see on the bottom of the cuffs you've got a single uh, button again and a nice uh, branded stud there not a lot of uh, opening there for the cuffing um, but just enough uh, to allow you a bit of extra comfort should you want to undo that Flipping over to the back, there's really nothing much to see at the back. There's a couple of little uh, pleats just to give you a bit of extra stretch there. But apart from that, uh, pretty plain until you get down to the bottom with the cinches and another couple of little pleats just to draw the body shape in. Well, that's about it really. Um, I thought I'd show you how this jacket was put together. Um, I really like it. I just wish uh, the sizing was right for me. I think I was far too... Uh, ambitious with a 42 I think I should have gone 40 or maybe even 38 I really like to stretch and break in uh, the denim that I get um, so this will be going up on my Instagram or maybe a reddit group I don't quite know where I'm going to sell it um, but if it's of interest to you give us a shout because I'll be getting it out on a fairly good price I'd have thought I'm not sure if they even make this anymore but um, yeah I'm just a bit sad it doesn't work for me it might work for you um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, really love denim. I've been through a good few uh, brands and models over the years. Um, I really like the way it evolves. Love heritage boots, um, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, cycling running, bit of guitar, that sort of stuff. So if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. If you thought this video was useful, gave you a bit of information on a jacket that you might buy in the future, please give it a thumbs up. Obviously, I'd love it if you subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.